Kawaumat. In this video, we will illustrate rational algebraic expressions. We will also evaluate rational algebraic expressions. And we will find every value of the variables that makes a rational expression undefined. So first, let us define what is a rational algebraic expression. So it is a rational expression in one variable is an expression that can be written in the form p over q where p and q are polynomials. So again, p and q should be polynomials. Now, these are the examples. I have here 4 over x minus 2, 4x all over x squared plus 9, x squared plus 2x minus 35 all over 3x plus 4. Now, remember that your q o yung denominator natin should not be equal to 0. Dahil kapag nag-0 itong mga denominator natin, then yan ay maiko-consider nating undefined. So, kapag itong denominators natin ay hindi nag-equal sa 0, remember, q should not be equal to 0 for your expression not to be undefined. Okay? So, tatandaan na para hindi, hindi maging undefined ang expression natin, dapat ang denominator natin ay hindi mag-equal sa 0. Let's have an example. How to evaluate algebraic expression? Simply by replacing the variable with a value. So, o ito yung tinatawag nating substitution. So, pag sinabi nating substitution, we are replacing the value the variable, naglalagay tayo ng number doon na ina-assign natin. Alright? So, let us have an example. Evaluate the expression x squared minus 4 all over x minus 2 when x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1. Let's have the first one. So, if your x is equal to 0, so we will just replace the variable with the value which is 0. So, we will have 0 and then another 0 since we have two x's here. And then our 0 squared is 0, so we will have negative 4. And then negative 2, so we will simplify negative 4 divided by negative 2, that is positive 2. Next, if x is equal to 1, so therefore, we will assign or substitute 1 to the variable. So we will have 1 squared minus 4 all over 1 minus 2. So we will just uh, follow the expression. So yung pag-substitute natin, susundan lang natin kung ano yung expression na binigay. So hindi tayo pwedeng mag-substitute kung saan-saan. So we will substitute only to the variable. Okay? So let us simplify. Your 1 squared is 1 minus 4. Your denominator will become 1 minus 2. So this is negative 3 and then 1 minus 2 that is negative 1. So as you can see, our denominator is negative 1. So since this is not 0, therefore this is an algebraic expression. So negative 3 divided by negative 1 that is positive 3. So as you can see, ang mga denominators natin ay hindi siya nag 0. So ibig sabihin, uh, x squared minus 4 all over x minus 2 Kapag ang value ng variable natin ay 0 and 1, it will not make the expression undefined. Another example. So, I have here x squared minus 2 all over x minus 4. So, we will have x is equal to 1. Let us substitute also x is equal to 2. So, let us try to uh, evaluate. So, x squared minus 2 all over x minus 4. So, we will substitute 1. And then another 1. So 1 squared is 1 minus 2 all over 1 minus 4. So 1 minus 2 is negative 1. 1 minus 4 is negative 3. Let us simplify. So negative 1 all over negative 3 that is positive 1 third. Next. So we will substitute here positive 2. So we will uh, replace the var variable with 2. So we will now have 2 squared is 4 minus 2, and then 2 minus 4. So 4 minus 2 is 2, 2 minus 4 is negative 1. Let us simplify. 2 divided by negative 2, that is negative 1. So hindi rin nag 0 ang denominator natin. Therefore, this is an algebraic expression. 
Next, evaluate the expression a squared minus 2b all over a minus b. So, paano naman kapag dalawa na yung variables natin? So, a is equal to 1, b is equal to 2, and another, a is equal to 2, b is equal to 3. So, let's have a squared minus 2b all over a minus b. So, we will have 1, 1 for a, 2 for b. So, 1 squared is 1. 2 times 2 is 4. So, ito yan. And then 1, and then minus 2. So, let us simplify. 1 minus 4, that is negative 3. 1 minus 2, that is negative 1. So, we will have positive 3. So, ito yung case na kapag given yung dalawang variables. Next, so a is equal to 2, b is equal to 3. So, we will have our a is 2, our b is 3. So, let us simplify 2 squared, that is 4. Let us simplify 2 times 3, that is 6. And then 2 minus 3, okay? So, we will have 4 minus 6, that is negative 2. 2 minus 3, that is negative 1. So, negative 2 divided by negative 1, that is positive 2. So, ito yung case na kapag ang given ay dalawang variable. So, you must have two assigned values for the variables. Now, paano natin malalaman yung mga values na hindi po pwedeng isubstitute sa variable para hindi siya maging undefined? Again, uulitin ko, kapag ang denominator natin ay naging undefined, then that is not considered rational algebraic expressions. Okay? So, paano natin malalaman yung mga values na hindi pwedeng isubstitute sa denominator para hindi maging undefined ang expression natin? So, to make a rational expression x squared minus 2 all over x minus 4 undefined, First, we will equate the denominator to 0. So, what is our denominator? x minus 4. Since equate to 0, so equals 0. Okay? Yun ang ibig sabihin ng equate. Next, solve for the variable. So, ililipat natin si negative 4. That will become x is equal to 0 plus 4. Let us simplify. So, we have x is equal to 4. So, ibig sabihin, the expression x squared minus 2 all over x minus 4 is undefined if x is replaced by 4 because the denominator would be 0. So, bawal tayong magkaroon ng 4 na assign value sa variable kasi magiging 0 ang denominator natin at magiging undefined. So, let us try. If your x is equal to 4, so 4 minus 4, that is 0. So, ito ang values na magiging dahilan which may cause your expression undefined. Another example. So, I have here x squared minus 4 all over x minus 2. So, again, our first step Equate the denominator to 0. So, that is x minus 2 equals 0. Solve for the variable. So, we will transpose uh, negative 2. So, that is x is equal to 0 plus 2. So, that is x is equal to 2. So, therefore, the expression x squared minus 4 all over x minus 2 is undefined. If x is replaced by 2, because the denominator would be 0. So, ito yung value ng variable na hindi pwedeng isubstitute dun sa expression natin. Bakit? That will make your expression or rational expression undefined. So, let us try. If this is 2, 2 minus 2, that would become 0. So, hindi siya po pwede. Another so, to make a, a rational expression x squared minus y all over x minus y undefined, so this is another case if you are given two variables. So, equate the denominator to zero. Ano dapat ang value ni x at y para hindi siya maging undefined? Okay? So, ano yung value na hindi pwede? So, equate the denominator by zero. So, we will have x minus y equals zero. Solve for the variable, so that is x is equal to 0 plus y. So, magiging x is equal to y. So, ibig sabihin the expression x squared minus y 
all over x minus y is undefined if the variables or the value of the variables x and y are replaced by equal values. So kapag ang value ng x at y mo ay pareho, that would mean undefined. Kapag ang value ng x and y mo ay same values or equal values at sinubstitute mo sa expression na to, hindi siya rational expression. Bakit? Let us try. If this is 2, so this is also 2. So 2 minus 2, that is 0. If this is 4 and this is also 4, so 4 minus 4, that is 0. So kapag ang value ng x at y mo ay equal values, that would make your expression undefined. Now, test yourself. You may pause the video so you can answer on your own. Next. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell para updated kayo for more video tutorials. This is your guide in learning your math lessons, your Walmart channel.